it to Athens. Woohoo! Freeze. Okay, guys, I'm using my GoPro to film this video because I broke my other camera. Um, I'm right now looking for a restaurant called Leona's because my house, so they have a deal with this restaurant or whatever. And I can get myself a lovely Greek powder all for just 10 euro. This. So the place is called Leon Dai. And this is Leon Days. Anyway, guys, it's very, very, very hot out here. <laughs> and y'all, I had to throw so much stuff away from my backpack because my backpack got so heavy that I was, I honestly couldn't do it anymore. Uh, like the moment I had put my backpack down and I felt how much pain my back was in, I all I could think about was all the stuff that I wanted to throw away. Enough with my complaints. The agenda for today is go to see Acropolis and then go to the museum. And then uh, my hostel, they have some type of rooftop party thing going on. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna... So if you guys, I'm not sure how many of you are travelers or whatever, but for those of you who are solo travelers, it is oftentimes a good idea to stay at a hostel. I am staying at a hostel uh, while I'm gonna be on an all around Greece because it's one, not only is it a good idea, but it gives me a chance to meet other people, other travelers like myself, and to just have conversations and a good time and probably join others on the same places that I would go myself. Where was this restaurant? I think there's a bunch of the, found it. Told me to come Liz. here and get. Uh, uh, she said. Liz. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right. Um, it's around here. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. We made it. My food has now arrived. So at the hospital, there's a lady who works there, and she. A lot of people who stay there to pay 10 euro to get this Greek platter to take typical Greek dishes with a glass of wine for free as well and water and all that kind of stuff just for 10 euros which is a really nice price. This part of the trip is what I like to call having a camera inside my purse while being in the museum even though it was against the rules. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of this museum although it's super empty and it wasn't much to see it was kind of boring in my opinion um, so I hope you guys enjoy the fact that I risked my freedom uh, in order to show you this really empty museum in Athens. Hey guys I just came from outside of the Acropolis Museum Yeah, it's not all that great um, to be completely honest because it's just a bunch of the old statues and bits and pieces of them with explanations of it which isn't all so bad um, but it's pretty empty now I'm headed to the Acropolis. Hello, oh, ticket for one, please. Yes. Do you have the student card? Yes. Do you have a discount? Not free, but a discount. Okay. Thank you. Just relaxing. The interesting tip on how to save money when you're traveling is um, so I still have my old school ID from DePaul, my old um, university ID. Now, most places when you travel, they do have like student discounts, seeing discounts, and you know, kids who are under 18 discounts and stuff like this. But if you have your old school ID and you can show them, um, you end up getting a discount. In most places in Europe, if you are part of the European Union, you can get in for free and all that jazz. 
But if you're a student of any other country, um, you they usually have like a discount for you or something like that. I mean, so far I've been able to get 50% off, um, and that's always a good way to save money. So just a little helpful tip. Um, you're not lying. You're just showing an old school ID. Save money. Travel smart. You guys, look at this sound that my shoes are making them this for. And they have this all the way up these steps to get to Acropolis. How flipping dangerous is that? Like, they got me walking all sideways like this, like, you know? Because I almost slipped and broke my whole ass. And like, why? Do you hear everybody's feet? Somebody gonna break their ass. And I'm sure there's a clause somewhere when you put a ticket that says, if you have a broken ass bone, we are not liable. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that I spent the rest of that evening trying to fix my computer. That is the day my computer decided it wanted to break, so I stopped filming and I didn't really care too much about filming because I had a broken camera and computer, so I was a bit bummed out. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Have a good day. Hello. Um, my reservation number? It's four. So Sorry, didn't make it. I got my ticket. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I am here in this business class. It's all the way upstairs. Okay guys, so this is the outside area. If you want to come up and chill. People are also smoking here and relaxing. It is open completely. It just had like these little windows and stuff there. Yeah. Ah, uh, so if you go down one more, it is the same. 